All right. Hi, everybody. <laughs> I am here with Pastor Christine Toberg. Uh, Toberg T. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, she is a, a longtime friend of Patty and I. Uh, I told you about her before. Uh, she's recently retired mm -hmm. and moved to Copeland Oaks. Uh, I hope some of you have been out to welcome her there. Um, we are so glad to have her, and she is uh, going to share uh, uh, the message with us this coming Sunday. Uh, so I wanted to just chat with her for a bit and get, let you get to see her, her beautiful face <laughs> and get to know her heart just a little bit uh, and, and, and hopefully encourage you to watch the worship service next week. Uh, so welcome to our community, Chris. I, I know I have done that by text and, and email before, but I haven't got a chance to see you to your face. And it's your first time in our building. It is. I'm so amazed by this glorious church. It just goes on and on and on. And uh, what a beautiful house of worship it is. So tell us uh, briefly uh, about your ministry. What, how can people know more about you? Hmm. What, what is it that brought you into ministry? Um, I know some of that story, mm -hmm. but, but the folks uh, here do not. So how did you get into ministry? What, what was your call? or uh, uh, just I don't know. What do you want to tell us? Okay. Um, first of all, um, my passion is children. And um, I need to be around kids. I have to get my kid fixed on a regular basis just to keep energized. Um, and so my big joy in my life has been Christian education. Um, I taught elementary school, third grade, in Mansfield, Ohio for 30 years. And uh, I always prayed that when it wasn't fun anymore, I'd be able to be done. And God worked it out beautifully, right down to the end. 30 years, I don't know what I thought I was going to do in retirement because I'm not a sit in the rocking chair kind of person. Um, but I had begun um, some seminary classes uh, to go into working as a Christian ed director. Okay. And uh, I was thinking, I gotta be around kids. I, the sweetest thing in the world is sharing Jesus with children. They have such beautiful, open, receptive hearts. And, and uh, so I was, um, my husband, Art, was an ordained elder in the United Methodist Church. And um, when he was appointed at Manor Plains in 2004, I got to be on staff as his Christian ed director. And uh, that had been a dream of ours, was to be on staff together and to work together. He was the senior pastor. And, and um, it was really, really such a joy to be in the midst of um, my Christian ed opportunities and, and joys, and also to be firsthand with him and see all the pieces of the ministry that he was doing. Um, he got called him home in 2007. He had a terminal liver disease. And um, I had, by that time, gotten a lot of experience in the pulpit, helping him and, and, and walking alongside him um, in all of the different areas of pastoring. And um, as a result of a disciple group that we had been in and the affirmation of, of people um, um, of my gifts, um, I started to question the pulpit ministry um, and becoming a local pastor. So, so, so to be clear, you pull, what you're saying is pulpit ministry, P-U-L-P-I-T. Yes. Right. Okay. All right. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, said, said quickly, I wanted to make sure people didn't hear puppet. Puppet ministry. <laughs> We've done that, too. <laughs> That's a heck of a lot of fun. Yes. So um, six months after Art passed away, um, I was already in the process of candidacy as a, um, on the deacon track to become Christian oh, okay. Ed Director. And um, God suddenly hit me upside the head with, don't you understand all of 
pastoring is Christian education. It's there. Truly. Right. Because we want to be lifelong learners and we want um, to be able to continue to follow through with our growing relationship with Jesus. So I was appointed to Green Springs United Methodist Church, which is in Northwest Ohio, um, Bellevue, Fremont, Green Springs, south of Toledo. And uh, I was able to serve there for 12 amazing years. And uh, I was able to retire from there. So here I am. Well, we welcome you here. And, uh, I hope that when this is all over and we can be together in person, that you will all acquaint yourself with uh, uh, Pastor Chris, uh, our, our second Pastor Chris. We're going to have to figure out how to do that, whether it's Pastor Chris and Pastor Christine. or I don't know, I'm not sure how we're going to do that, but we're going to have to find a way uh, to be clear. Uh, but I think, I think this is going to be awesome to have, have you as a part of our congregation. And so welcome again and thank you again. Uh, for bringing our message this coming Sunday. Be sure to tune in. Absolutely. Thank you, John.